All right, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well uh, Leo Rising weekly general tarot reading, uh, April twentieth to April twenty sixth, uh, twenty twenty. And uh, in case any of you guys is a uh, interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. And as well, uh, if you want to start reading tarot cards and you like the way I do it, uh, you can sign up for my online six weeks live tarot classes in which I'm going to explain you all the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship reading, in terms of negative and positive position into the dedicated spread I chose and I use as well into my private readings also. Um, and uh, at the end of the course, you're going to be set to do your own uh, your own professional readings. So uh, that being said, moving to uh, the spread straight away for Leo. Now the first card here, which represents the very topic of your week, that is to be the Tree of Swords. Moving next, we do have the, oh my God, the energies that are supporting and feeding the topic, that is to be the Ten of Swords. Furthermore, we do have the challenge that you will have to overcome, and that will be the Chariot card. Afterwards, it is the Gifts and the Blessings. I crossing my fingers for that one. That will be the gift and the blessing of the Seven of Cups. Okay, will do. Uh, followed by the next one, which represents the um, impression that you are leaving into the people around. That will be the High Priestess. Furthermore, what we do have, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. So, uh, just from the first couple of cards, it doesn't look pretty. Uh, that is because uh, the energies are going to open your eyes, okay? So your eyes are yet to be open. And with the energies of the Ten of uh, Swords, um, one, well, there is no way to sugarcoat it, really. Um, I could say that most likely is going to manifest that, you know, and it will be like thing that you thought that is rock solid and very... Mm, very tough and very rough you know and it is quite secure it will turn out to be quite fragile i mean very fragile so um there is no other way to say it here looking at those cries uh, at those cards uh, you are facing crisis in this uh, in this particular week in one thing or another and i don't want to scare you guys it could be a crisis into a a field that it doesn't mean anything to you so it will be just a trifle in that case but also it could be in a major field of your life in any case those energies of the ten of swords it will make you or it will force you to um how can i say it to do something in the sense of that you can't simply uh wait for it to, to, to develop or to go away on its own accord. It will require your uh, incorporation and as well your performance in it. And unfortunately, by the end of the day, you will have to make up your mind, if you will. So you get to say the final, uh, you, you get to have the final say here, but also you get to have the consequences of your final say or of your a uh, final actions, whatever those actions are. Nonetheless, that will lead you to the Tree of Swords, which is the uh, situation itself. And Tree of Swords, it is when one is feeling pressured, when one is with their back against the wall, when they uh, are constantly in the catch-up, in the sense of that constantly def deflecting, kind of like hits from this person or from that person or from the universe itself. So um, that's why I said that we're talking about a certain crisis here. But uh, the Tree of Swords really shines when someone is uh, working or performing under pressure. And it's really uh, having that, how can I say it, um, that ability to, um, to overcome their, their significant problems. Not just the problems that are trivial and everyday routine, but it is just at the end of the day, the person doesn't care anymore and just want the thing to be over. So it's yeah, it doesn't think twice when it comes to some drastic action or some drastic decision. And therefore, this week is going to be, like said, simultaneously crisis, but also at the end of the week, once you turn your, uh, your look back, what you went through, 
it will be a, a week where you have actually sorted out a lot of things and now the process of healing can start. Now, if I have to give you a particular example of it, um, let's start with the relationship example. You know, those um, to me, that speaks for a buildup of pressure. It's because uh, people may say, oh, that's cheating. I don't think that it is about cheating. It, it speaks for a building up of a, of a pressure within the relationship, you know, where um, it is just simply people don't talk about the problems and about the aggravating things that one day does to another. And it is just, you know, um, kind of like muffles them. People muffles them and they are building up a tension. They are building up a pressure. And throughout this week, that pressure releases. So uh, that means there are very big arguments, huge scandals and etc. etc. And that itself, you know, but in the process of it, you are laying it all out. I mean, you are talking about it. You are saying it the way it is with its true face, with its true name. And you release the pressure in that case and afterwards the healing process within the relationship which you both are going to have a time to think about what you said to each other because the tree of swords it's mostly related to a mental cruelty and under mental cruelty i mean the the, the way the things truly are without sugar coating anything okay so after that after you uh, give yourself a bit of a time to assimilate what your partner told you or what you told them as well they to assimilate it the healing process of the relationship can start and the relationship can be rebuilt as the energy of the ten of swords always promises a, a new era into one's life um but in terms of career you know it could be uh the way i suspected it it is that you are not raising your voice about certain things that you can't stand anymore and that provokes you know your drastic actions again that is you acting very radically to the situation it's not like the situation is amplifying its it, it, its negative how can i say it? it's it's negative impact upon you but it is just you can't stand it anymore that is what the card points and you just outburst throughout uh, throughout this week and um, you are to raise your voice and people will know about it. <laughs> Make sure of it. I mean, you should be sure of it, that everybody will know about it. What's what you can't stand and what you in generally want. And in, uh, in the grand scheme of things, you know, what is wrong with all that is happening around you and how you want to fix it. If you, of course, want to fix it. But uh, with uh, the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords in a, such a uh, alignment, it's crucial that you do not hold up anything within okay you just have to how can i say it? you just have to open yourself and all that that is the way how you uh to achieve a um a spiritual balance if you will and as well an opening for to like we saw here with the ten of swords to embark a new era into one's life uh, next one, it will be the challenge that you will have to overcome. Now, that is the challenge of the chariot and chariot stands for only one challenge, fighting against the odds. And if you do not give up and you put all of your determination, all of your iron will, your signature as well, because the chariot is a very singular card. It's, it's about the solo performance, but I'm explaining that into the classes. So then your your triumph is imminent or it's kind of like uh, it's secured so you are to triumph over against the odds and at the end you are to feel the look of your hard work and probably some wishes fulfilled but once again that is the challenge so that's why i said that this week is going to be it's going to feel to you like catching up with things okay like always being on the back track always being one step behind being uh, surpassed by the circumstances themselves until you just can't stand it anymore and you just you know open because that is what it is needed here to uh to open and many things are going to break through you know it's in a sense you need to, relationships may break um certain projects may be broken as well and etc etc but what remains in there is going to be true to itself and true to you also so don't be afraid to just simply you know show to the world if you will um what you cannot tolerate because this is what is all about what you cannot tolerate that you are giving an impression that you are tolerating up until this point 
Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings, and that is to be the gift and the blessing of the six of the seven of cups. First and foremost, as we said, drastic actions, drastic measures, drastic decisions, etc., etc. But although they are going to be drastic, with the seven of cups into the gifts and the blessings, it doesn't look like that they're going to have any kind of an impact upon your consolidated endeavors. Okay, so if your family is sound and safe despite what you do it will remain that way your career is sound and secure despite what you do it will remain that way as well at least for the duration of the week and that's why uh the seven of cups in this case it kind of urges you to be a bit bolder than uh, than usual because uh, to you it's going to be given the gifted of the i don't know how to say it in english maybe benefit of the doubt uh, in a sense of that uh, right now it's time for you to, to like I said, raise your voice and demand things. Because it does look like with this card that the circumstances are such a range that whatever it is wanted does not belong to the one who, uh, who deserves it, but to the one who can take it and to the one who asks for it. So that's why you got to stray for it. And even if you are on the back track here, even if you are a bit deprived, or bereft, maybe the word that I should use here, you definitely can overcome, surpass, and even take away what your competition is meant to have as a right, for example. Okay, so here we're not talking about the righteousness, we're talking about how much you can, and you definitely can do a lot. It's just only if you push yourself, as we saw with the chariot, because unfortunately, you will have to stand against the uh, the odds. And then we are having how people are uh, looking at you, what kind of impression you are leaving into the people around. That is to be the impression of the uh, high priestess. So people will have a very difficult time to understand you, if they can understand you at all. So uh, your intentions and the reasons why you are doing all that it will be alien for them because because they will simply not see a point in uh, uh, behind you know your outbursts for example behind your decisions behind your actions as well so you are to be a mystery for those people and therefore you can't expect they to to kind of aid you in any way and that's why we do have as well the chariot in there showing that you have to do it all on your own again unfortunately even the closest people of yours, which love is genuine, even if their uh, desire to help you is genuine, they will simply not know how. And uh, that will not be changed even if you try to explain, because still they will not be able to understand where you're coming from, because they do not have a grip on your soul, okay? They do not have an understanding in your soul, at least for that particular uh, particular enterprise. And that's why you have to make your peace with that you are alone in this battle. But the triumph at the end, should you not stray away from it, is going to be the most sweetest thing that you have ever experienced, at least according to those cards that it is. Because your life after that, after this immense struggle, if you will, uh, it will um, heal to its beyond maximum extent, if I may say it that way as well. So that leads us to the last one here, which represents the guidance the tower is offering. Big one, really, very, very uh, big one, because the a magician tells you that no matter what happens, you got to maintain your sovereignty, meaning you do not allow anybody to tell you you are worth for nothing or you stand for nothing. No, nobody to tell you what you have to do and how to do it. It's just you have to be unique and you need to maintain that. That's why, again, we were talking about singularity. You want something, right? Despite how many people tell you that that's not for you or you do not deserve it or you are not good for it, that should not mean a, a, a thing for you, okay? That should be even more. That should... Um, amplify your enthusiasm even more to prove all of those lack of believers wrong that you actually can't do it because with the seven of cups once again everything is achievable that sits within the framework of our current civilization right it's just you have to believe that you can do it arm yourself with the determination and the iron will and even against the odds 
you are at the end gonna triumph if you do not give up. Another thing about the magician, uh, it is about the determination, meaning that when you go for a thing, either career or either relationship, you really have to give on an impression or it's like you mean it, you know, you, you, you want it, you really want it and you mean it. Whatever you do, it should not look like that you are just messing around, okay? And the last thing about the magician here as a guidance is, um, how can I say it? Communication from a sense of that when you want something, if you do not ask for it, the answer always will be no, right? Just always the answer will be no. So if you want something, just raise your voice about it. And uh, last but not least, um, was about the magic. You are to be amazed what you are capable of. As a matter of fact, this is why that week is happening that way. Because right now, uh, no matter how good you are in whatever you are finding yourself at, you are underperforming because the because uh, you don't, how can I say it? You don't have the need to reach your limits. Well, now the week or the circumstances will make you to understand the true capabilities and the true potential of your true limit. So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, April 20th to April 26th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. Once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below. Um, it's going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you are into reading tarot cards and you want to learn the way I read tarot cards, uh, I'm offering in a six weeks online live tarot classes in which I'm going to explain you all the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship, in a negative and in a positive way. And in generally how they stand into my dedicated spread that I use for the classes and in my private readings also, and it's a major arcana friendly spread, meaning that once you finish this beginner's course, you are set to do your own private readings, if you will. So stay safe now and uh, see you next time. Until then, bye.